what the hell is going on with that leg? I mean, seriously, look at it. Look, it, it's like, just, it's, it's not suspended against anything. It's not leaning. It's just, it's, 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 what sorcery is this? Creepy. What's going on, everyone? Metal Blade 427 here, and I welcome you back to another episode of Dead Space. In the last episode, we started up Chapter 3. We got a bunch of different upgrades and everything to the suit. As you can see, I have more health and all good stuff like that. And I got... I think I just have my three weapons on me, right? I have my line gun and my pulse rifle. Yeah, yep, there we go. Very nice. So, I mean, I'm going to probably be getting more weapons as I go along, but uh, this is what we have so far. Now, before I begin the event of uh, Chapter 3 or continue through them, because I did a very little bit in the last episode, I want you guys to notice something. See my nodes? Zero. See my credits? 6,825. Just keep those in mind, because Dead Space actually has built into it one of those, I guess, old-time button combination, quote-unquote, cheat codes things. You know, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, start, or something like that. Or it's just A, B, start. I don't remember. I haven't played Contra in forever. But this is pretty much existent in Dead Space 1. And I wonder if it's in Dead Space 2. I forget. I'm pretty sure it is, but I don't remember offhand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you guys those cheat codes. Now, doing it this early in the game does make it a little bit easier, but only for the first few chapters. Once uh, I hit the later chapters, 7, 8, 9, 10, and beyond that and everything, even though I put these cheat codes in now, it's not going to affect the gameplay later. So don't think that this is like I've broken the game by doing this. This is just something fun to show you guys and uh, to let you know that when you play, you don't have to feel like you're completely you know, screwed over and everything. The good thing about these codes is that you're allowed to put them in once per playthrough. So that means if you're playing on easy, medium, hard, or impossible, which is the hardest level of the game, you can still put these codes in once. And it's best to do that early on so this way you can have as much growth with Isaac as you can early. You need to pause the game, just go complete pause menu, and you're going to be hitting... Okay, so I'm playing on a PlayStation, so I use triangle and square. If you're playing on an Xbox or the PC, you are going to use... Y or X. So every time I say triangle, it means Y. Every time I say square, it means X. So that's just kind of your own reference points and everything. So here we go. We're going to be getting myself a whole bunch of fun items and whatnot, and we're going to go ahead. It's really just power nodes and credits. Both of those are, you know, great things that you're going to be collecting throughout the game anyway. So might as well have going in with a little bit of stockpile. Consider it a savings account that Isaac has now decided to dip into in order for survival purposes. Uh, the code for five power nodes is, and once it's paused, you just have to hit these buttons in this order, and then you'll get it. Triangle, square, triangle, square, square, triangle, square, square, triangle, square, square, triangle. Hear that little whoop whoop that happened right there? That means I did it correctly. Now remember, every time I say triangle, it means Y. Every time I said square, it meant X. You can also find these online anywhere, so if you're playing Dead Space on Xbox or PC, you can do that. Uh, next one I'm going to put in is the 1,000 credits, so I'll have 1,000 credits deposited into my little account thing. That is square, 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 triangle, square. Very good, so three squares, triangle, and square. We're now going to do 2,000 credits, which is square, 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 triangle, triangle. There you go. 5,000 credits, square, square, square. Triangle, square, triangle, very good. And then 10,000 credits. Square, triangle, 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 square, square, triangle. And then I think, uh, da, 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 da. oh, I can get two more power nodes. I got two more power nodes. Uh, triangle, square, 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 triangle, very good. Okay, those I've just entered are all I can enter. So what did I get? I got seven power nodes and then what? Um... 18,000 credits, which is just one more power node. So in a sense, I've only gotten like eight power nodes and 8,000 credits, which is pretty good. You can buy guns and ammo and just help you out a little bit in the beginning. Um, there are two more codes to this. Uh, the more oxygen code, which is square, square, triangle, 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 can be inputted as many times as you want throughout the course of the game, and that will automatically refill Isaac's oxygen while he is out in uh, the, the, the vacuum of space. Uh, the other one, oh yeah, see, see how that did it right there? That just means I got my uh, oxygen back, even though it's already running around. Now, if I fire off my kinesis, as you can see, it is empty. There's another one of those anytime I want to codes, and that is to refill my stasis meter. 
square, triangle, triangle, square, triangle. Coming back out, as you can see, it fills up. So those two I just showed you right now, the fill oxygen and the fill stasis, I am not going to use at all for the remainder of the game because that's, and, and I know it's weird that I consider that cheating, but um, the giving me of various items like the nodes and the credits, it's not really even that much, but it is a good starting point. So I'm very happy with having those. Let's go over to the store, see if I can actually pick up anything with uh, my newfound stuff. Probably just gonna buy like another new. I can buy the flamethrower. Um, you know what? Sure, let's buy the flamethrower. We'll throw that in because I have the extra space. I am going to buy one more power node, and that's pretty much where it puts me at right now. So I have all four weapon slots open, and I have uh, another power node that I'm gonna hold on to. So here we go, flamethrower. Ha! There it is. So what I'm going to do is follow my little line and continue on. The flamethrower shoots a concentrated, you know, flame blast forward. Uh, the thing of it is, is being that these are, you know, zombie enemies of some sorts, fire doesn't exactly work on them too, too well. Uh, you'll catch them on fire, they'll burn, they'll take damage, and then they'll go ahead and, you know, die eventually. But uh, I don't really like the flamethrower. I don't really think it has too many good uses. There's a few enemies that it's weak against, or I'm sorry, strong against. But otherwise that, uh, I'll use it a few times to show you it, and then that's going to pretty much be it. Um, do I want to use the bench now? No, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to use the bench. Even though I got all those power nodes and all that other good stuff, I'm going to wait to use it. All right, moving on to a newer area. We have a guy that's dead here. Oh, there was a... Oh, hi. Hi. Where are you going? Oh, leaper. No, 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 little leaper. Uh, back in that room that I started this whole thing in, that, like, command room and whatnot, there was a guy sitting on a chair. A dead guy. He was actually the one that was attached to that leg initially. I smashed him apart because you're going to want to do that. There will be an infector in that room at some point, so you're going to want to kill it and destroy it in order to make sure that it does not, you know, get infected by the infector and come alive and try to kill you. And I'm going to be walking around at this moment and trying to collect stuff without hopefully dying. That would be wonderful. Smash. Plasma rounds. I got some, uh... Oh, the secondary function of, uh, the flamethrower. I will use it. Oh my god, where? I hear you. I heard a roar. Yes? No? Maybe? So? Okay. Hang on. Okay, whatever. Um, you would use an entire canister of fuel and fire it out like a missile straight ahead of me. So, um, that would be, I guess, if you have a lot of guys in front of you, you would just kind of fire off like a flame missile and, uh, kill them. Go away! Burn! Burn! See, he's still coming at me. He's not really losing too much, but, uh, yeah. At least if you shot them, they would have, like, that stun motion and then not come at you here. I fired him a few times and backed up, and he still kind of charged at me regardless. Uh, what do we got? We need the kinesis module to pull this to us. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Uh, okay, good. Uh, before I do that, I actually, I believe this wants me to head up. Yes, so I want to follow this for right now. Flame fuel. Not that it matters, because I'm not going to hold on to it. And we need to pull this down. Alright, so this is going to start the refueling sequence. That's fine. Is that all I Oh, no, now I got to go. Oh, crap! Hi! Hi! Ah, fire the flame missile! Uh, do it again? See, it sucks. It takes 10 units of energy. And just does... There you go. That was the, um, what I was using right there was all of the, uh, the specialty, the secondary specialty for the flamethrower. Swarm! Oh my god, he's still got the to off! You would think that the flamethrower would be great for the swarm, but no, no, of course not. They just kind of still run past it and whatnot. That. Let's get out of here. What am I doing for my inventory? Yeah, not bad. Go! So, that was one of two fueling, uh, restoring things or whatever. Excuse me, buddy. I, I really don't like you here. Um, bye. And we now need to go to the other side and, uh, switch to the other one. This is a big, big canyon here. Oh, boy. Everything. Oh, oh. How would this stuff... Alright! Okay. 
Um, I come in peace. Hello? Anything? Oh, hi. Oh, oh, lots of guys waiting for me. Um, fire. Yep, that didn't work. More fire? More fire? More fire. Lots of fire. Fire? What the? Oh my god, I'm out of fire. Oh my god, I'm out of fire. Well, just, uh, uh, can we please switch weapons? Ow! Uh, just shoot things! Shoot things to the dead! Please! Did I win? No! Oh. Oh. oh boy! Oh man. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Thanks. Yeah, I had a little bit of a party waiting in front of me, but that's alright. Um, with telekinesis, you can actually pick up these things as well. These are like little mini uh, fuel tanks, and you can fire them off, and they cause a nice big explosion. So, if you happen to get a bunch of guys surrounding you, kind of like what happened right there, and you have some of those fuel things on hand, eh, pick it up. You can save some ammunition, you can start a nice good bonfire, and everyone will be happy. Well, you'll be happy, because you'll be alive, and they'll be dead, and that makes me even more happy. Uh, what else we got? We got... Ooh, audio log. Yeah. Shut it, gamers. Shut it again. Yeah, shut it, gamers. Engineering log. Temple reporting. Someone has shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and I'm damaged sure. the valves in the process. Who would do that? They need to be repaired before I can reopen them, but we're running out of time. With the engine offline, orbit decay will begin in less than 10 hours. I just can't understand who would do this. Crazy. It's one of those crazy unitologist bastards. I'll break their neck. Mm. Oh, they were coming. Never should have let him live. Oh my god, that guy's going crazy. Help me with the tools. Time to put him down. Temple out. Later, dude. Oh god, hi! Good. Come on, come on, come on! What? What? He went back in? You serious? Uh don't be jumping out of walls like that and not expecting me to uh fire back at you and everything. That Oh, I wonder if all you guys were from that audio log. Were you? Oh, I don't know. Time to start smashing up. You never know! You never know when an infector is just gonna kinda come out of nowhere and start, uh, you know, making your life a living hell. Yoink, stasis pack. I don't need it. I'm just going to leave it. Hello? Oh, I know he's in there. It's probably gonna come out after I, uh, push down this other thing. What is this? Oh, it's a ripper schematic! Oh, that's bull. Screw you, inventory. Um, we'll use that. We'll put this on. We'll do this. And we're gonna pick up the Ripper. The Ripper is one of my all-time favorite weapons in this game, probably ever. It is amazing. All right, so we refuel this place now. What it's working, Isaac. I have a fuel reading. All right. It's only a quarter full, but that's enough to restore orbit once you bring the engines online. Okay. Oh hi! Well, I did see something, so screw you. Oh, more of them. Oh, there's two more of them! Get, get some! No, 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 no! Ooh, reloading. Run away. Dodge. Do my line gun. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Open. Aha! Oh, no, no, no. There we go. More aha. Like it. Oh, man, this is crazy. Where did they come from? Like, they, they just kind of spawn out of nowhere and everything. Might. I only hold 50 shots in that thing? Oh, it's probably because I haven't, uh, upgraded it. After playing this game so many times, when you replay it, like if you do a New Game Plus, you get, like, a ton of nodes, and everything is still the same, uh, upgrades that you had on it. Oh, speaking of node, <laughs> I can't believe I almost missed you. Uh, it has all the upgrades on it to all the other power nodes that you require your next game through. You can actually apply to other things, so that's how I was able to upgrade, uh, like my rifle and my flamethrower and everything just to kind of see what the additional power-ups from those would be. But this is going to be absolutely the first and foremost thing I upgrade in terms of weapon rise once I get back to a bench. And we're going to be going this way. There's our destination over there. Uh, somebody sounds hungry. Mm. Oh! Oh, hi! Oh, what the? Oh, where are you going? What? Where, where'd you go? What's going on up there? Hello? Hello, Necromorph Man. Necroman, what you doing? Hello. That's weird. Where the hell he run off to? Let's just keep the gun drawn. Cause you never can tell. Um Uh yes. Yes. Cool. Oop. Oh, trying to sneak up on me, maybe? I don't know. What the hell is this? Oh yeah, see, see! Look, this is where the um the the body would be. 
And oh, there he goes. He was, there he is. There's the infector. There's the infector. I told you he would be here. Um, let's burn him because I really. Ah! Go away! Shoot! Bird! Oh, I'm ticking. Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Oh! Hey, Doc! Hey, Doc! Push him back! Push him back! Way back! Kick him in the face! And mine! That's right. I'll take that, and you can uh, smush! 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 So if you uh, left that dead body uh, in the chair when you first got here, he would infect him, and that would turn into, I want to say, a super slasher, the, the black ones that are really fast and really strong, plus then you would have to deal with the actual infector himself running around and causing havoc. Where am I going? Alright, so I'm going that way. So I think what I gotta do next is I gotta reinitiate the gravity tethers in order to pull this ship back into orbit so this way we don't go crashing into the planet. That, that sounds scientific, right? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, first things first, into the store, my friends. Here we go. Let us drop off the Ripper schematics. So now we can actually buy the Ripper from the store at 8,000, but we can't... The only reason it's not lit up isn't because we can't afford it, it's because I don't have any room. So I need to go on down here, and I need to actually go to my inventory. In there. And I'm going to take the flamethrower. We saw enough of the flamethrower. If you guys want to see more of the flamethrower, let me know in the comments below or whatever. I don't think anybody wants to see more of the flamethrower. I know I don't. So we're going to move that over. And now we're going to go ahead and grab the Ripper. Oh, one of my favorite weapons. It's great. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Uh, anything else here I do not need? I have a lot of, like, random ammunition and everything. Um, I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell uh, this line rack set. And I'm going to leave everything else the way it is for right now. Yeah, that's good. Can't afford any more credits. All right, so the Ripper. Ripper. Fun, fun weapon, as you can see in my hand. It's, uh, uh, it's a saw blade. This is, this is my equivalent for a metal blade in this game. So you aim forward, and it's out, and then as soon as you shoot it, it uses, like, a gravity field in order to maintain a saw blade in front of you. It is awesome. It's a limited amount of time that I can hold it out there for, but once you go up to a guy and they come at you, you can just go and cut them to shreds. Oh, man, I can't wait to the next episode to show you guys what happens with that. And the only reason I say next episode is because I'm running out of time that I want to do for this one, and I think I'm going to use those nodes that I got at the beginning of the episode to go ahead and finish upgrading... Uh, my life, maybe a little bit of my stasis, possibly a little bit on the plasma cutter, but not the Ripper. I mean, we can look at the Ripper's line. I didn't show off the uh, flamethrower's lines, but that's okay. Don't really worry too much about it. Uh, damage capacity, how fast to reload, and how long the blades stay out for. I believe the flamethrower is also damage capacity, how fast you reload it, and fuel consumption, I think, is the last one, so it uses less fuel when you use it. But yeah, this is just for the Ripper. I'm not going to worry about that. We are going to go back to my rig. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. See, even though I used everything, that's all I did. I used all my nodes, and all I'm gonna be doing is just powering up my rig fully. Um, I will put one there. Maybe I won't do it fully. Um, and you know what? The range on the kinesis will actually work out better. Ugh, man. See, so many things that I wish I could do. Um, now start that build up. Next time, I'm going to probably throw these on Kinesis just to get that finished, and then probably start building that up. But at least my health is full. So we're going to look at all the lines on the back of me. Shrink and get nice and small, right? That's what it is. Yeah, look at them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, 200 health. 25 points a piece. So that is pretty much that for this episode, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427. In the next episode, we head on over to the next section of this engine area. I think we may be doing some gravity jumping. But while we are there, we are going to rip it up with the Metal Blade Ripper. Bzzz, yeah, you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you all later. Let's go. Ah! Uh, sounds. Sounds. Things. Oh, here they are. Hi. Hi. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh crap. Oh, no. Eat that. Shoot you. Nope. Can't pick that up. That's great. Next. There was only one. There was like three guys out there. Really? That's it? From where? From where? I hear Roar. Where's Roar? There's Roar. Go away. 